हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑफ थर्ड सेमेस्टर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स दिस इज प्रोफेसर किरण पोदार अंगड़ी इंस्ट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड मैनेजमेंट बेलगावी इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन एग्जांपल ऑफ फाइंडिंग एक्सट्रीमल ऑफ द फंक्शनल इंटीग्रेशन बिटवीन एक्स वन टू एक्स टू ऑफ वाई स्क्वायर प्लस वाई डैश स्क्वायर प्लस टू टाइम्स वाई इंटू ई रेस टू एक्स विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वेरी फर्स्ट what to do we'll be taking this given example as i which is between x1 to x2 of the functional y square plus y dash square plus 2 times y into e raised to x with respect to x it will be like integration between x1 to x2 of functional x y y dash with respect to x therefore here we can pick f of x y y dash is equal to what is that now that is equal to y square plus y dash square plus 2 times y into e raised to x then we have euler's theorem by using euler's equation what euler's equation says do f by do i minus d by dx of do f by do y dash is equal to 0 so this is euler equation in this equation i'll be calling it as equation number 1 from this equation we need to obtain a solution how f is given so that has to be differentiated with respect to y when in this entire thing you just observe is there y yes there are two terms of y therefore differentiating f with respect to y will be equal to you can see here differentiation of y square gives 2y plus differentiation of y dash this is 0 then differentiation of 2y into e raised to x is 2 into e raised to x similarly differentiation of f with respect to y dash is equal to differentiating this with respect to y dash y dash is the only term available here first and third term there are no y dash only the term available is y dash square so differentiation of that is 2y dash therefore euler equation becomes euler equation that is equation number 1 becomes in this if you substitute the values of the derivatives which we got if you substitute then equation number 1 becomes do f by do i is nothing but 2y plus 2 into e raised to x minus d by dx of do f by do i dash that is nothing but 2 y dash is equal to 0 okay is equal to 0 therefore 2y plus 2 into e raised to x as it is then d by dx of 2 y dash means what this has to be differentiated y dash has to be differentiated with respect to x once again therefore it becomes 2 times y double dash is equal to 0 fine therefore 2 is common term pick it out and send it to the other end then it becomes y plus e raised to x minus y double dash is equal to 0 fine then rearrange the term with higher order since i need a y dash first so but it should be positive therefore i'll send it to the other end then it becomes y double dash y also goes to other end then it becomes y which is equal to e raised to x fine so this is the derivative now but here what happens if you apply integration twice then getting a solution is little bit difficult but we'll be taking it as this has to be taken as auxiliary equation format so this is nothing but d square minus 1 of y is equal to e raised to x where d by dx will be treated as capital d fine this has treated as capital d then this is the differential equation now second order differential equation the solution of this we already discussed in previous semester in second semester that has been uh, that uh, we already discussed how to solve this one 
very first what to do we have to take it as a auxiliary equation what will be auxiliary equation capital d will be re uh, replaced by small m so it is m square minus 1 is equal to 0 therefore m is equal to plus or minus 1 the root is plus or minus 1 therefore the complementary function if the root is plus or minus 1 then the complementary function yc is equal to c1 into e raised to x plus c2 into e raised to minus x fine this is the complementary function we got but since this equation if you see it is a non-homogeneous differential equation therefore complementary function is not just sufficient we need to obtain its particular integral also then complementary function plus particular integral will be its solution therefore yp uh, pi that is nothing but yp which is nothing but particular integral what is rhs here exponential therefore e raised to x divided by f of d fine which is nothing but e raised to x divided by f of d what is f of d difference a function of a derivative which is nothing but d square minus 1 since it is of first type where exponential comes then what to do d being replaced by a where a will be taken from the coefficient of x which is the power of an exponential that is 1 fine that is 1 therefore what happens here it becomes e raised to x divided by 1 square minus 1 but one thing we need to understand now if you take this then it is 1 minus 1 will be 0 when 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 at the denominator then what happens here the denominator becomes 0 okay if the denominator is 0 then this particular integral that is yp will be equal to because we don't want denominator 0 so what to do multiply the numerator with its variable x into e raised to x divided by differentiating the denominator with respect to d what is the denominator d square minus 1 so differentiation of d square minus 1 will be 2d fine now again x divided by 2 into different uh, replacing d by 1 again then it is e raised to x divided by 1 therefore it is x into e raised to x divided by 2 which is nothing but yp clear this is nothing but yp therefore what will be general solution now general solution is general solution is nothing but complementary function plus particular integral therefore y is equal to that is nothing but y is equal to yc plus yp fine therefore y is equal to yc what is yc c1 e raised to x plus c2 e raised to minus x plus yp that is x into e raised to x divided by 2 so this is the required solution for the given example 